Hola amigos. Just kidding. Hey guys. Uh, so now things are going to start getting a little more complicated. Uh, so for this problem, we're going to be determining the magnitude of the moment of the force of the 200 newton force about the x-axis. Okay. So, and they give you the magnitude of the force. They don't give it to you in component forms. So the first thing we want to do is compute uh, my f compute the force in Cartesian vector. Okay, Cartesian vector form. So we want f x i. We want the x component, the y component, and the z component. Okay. And how do we do that? Well, they give you all the angles, the principal uh, angles, uh, I believe they're called. So we want to do because we're so if you look here very carefully, they give you the angle that the force makes with the x direction. Okay, it makes it an angle of 120. So we want to do uh, the force. Okay, so 200 newton force times cosine 120. Do the same thing for y. 200 cosine 60. And as you might, might imagine, for the z-axis, we'll do the same exact thing. 200 cosine 45. All right. So let's see. 200 cosine 120. So it's minus 100 newtons, 200 times cos 60, another 100 in the positive direction, and y, sorry, the z, one forty one point four, let's say, newtons. Okay. And yeah, it's true. So it's pointing up. So positive z pointing towards the right, you know, the right of the screen. So it's positive y, and it's pointing behind, like towards. It's pointing into the screen, I guess. So it's in the negative x direction. Okay. So we already have all the force components: f x, f y, f z. All right. Now we want to take the moment about O, and then the question again is similar to question thirteen. It's asking how much of that moment is being translated along the x-axis. Well, now that we're experts after two problems, um, we know that we just want the x component of that moment, about O. So again, let's do the, the notation for this will be, we want the moment about the x-axis. What's the unit vector of the x-axis? dotted with r cross f. All right. So let's go all the way over here. Okay, what's the unit vector of the x-axis? It's just i. Dotted with, and then the cross product of r cross f. So what's the r going to be? Let's do it over here. What's the distance from the pivot point to where the force is? Well, you're going a positive 0.3 in the j direction. And because you're going in the y direction. And then you're going up 0.25 in the k direction. So plus 0.25. Okay, so we have I, J, K, then we have 0, 0 0.3, and 0 0.25.
And now what about forces? Well, we have minus 100. Cool 100 and 141.4. And then, like I said before, since we're going to be dotting I with I, we don't care about computing the J components or the K components at this moment. Okay. So it's going to be I dotted with I. Okay, what's the I component of, or the X component of this moment? Okay, let's determine it. 0.3 times 141.4. Okay, minus uh, minus. So we went across and then minus 0.25 times 100. Okay. Let's see what this yields. I dotted with I. 0.3 times 141.4 minus, uh, that'll be 25. So it's 17.4. Okay, and I dot I is 1, so then. The moment being translated by the x-axis is 17.42 Newton meter. Okay. And that's it. So again, the, pretty much the notation is they asked me to calculate the moment about some axis or unit vector of that axis. Okay, let's, let's highlight the key points. Okay, moment about some axis. What's the unit vector of that axis? Dotted with the moment about, um, in, in these cases, it's been the origin. Okay. And that's it. All right, guys. Thanks for your patience. Hope these videos are helping. And, uh, you know, keep up the good work, guys. Have a good one.